Hi everybody, this is VGS, I'm the Captain here and welcome to another Topsic tournament fight that we have over for you guys that was held over the weekend over at Topsic uh, card shop here in Singapore. And this is a classic fight that we've seen probably many times before here in the channel, maybe everywhere else in the community scene too as well. And it is Youthberg versus Coral Jet. Now, uh, if you notice also the, the fighters is uh, Ram and Remu, so a bit of a weird idea uh, that you could put in there as to the reason why this uh, fight was picked but of course also there's a reason why this fight was picked also and that is definitely because of the fact that this was actually uh, involving the match uh, with the ma with the tournament winner so to speak so but let's get the introductions out of the way right now let's straight and focus on the action right now as you can see the Chrono Jet player uh, playing out the the crest card right now by riding up the Mesa Gear Dragon and now Ram is riding up to his Great One Youth Finding Wave Therapy Angel in the drive check and a critical trigger on Remu's side as well and the turn passes over. Now, uh, I will spoil you guys a little bit on the deck list right now. Ram's side, if you're looking for the uh, boost from set 9 uh, for Youthberg, unfortunately Ram did not pick them up so he, he, he didn't have the finances at that point in time. Uh, so we are seeing a little bit more uh, of a classic build so without any of the new cards that's in there. So. But right now as we see uh, Coron Jet, Remu actually uh, ramping things up, attacking with uh, Upstream Dragon right now, he does call Diablo's Voice Eden on the side, so it's pretty interesting. So with the amount of color blast that Corona Jet does have, uh, or has to spare, can make space for Eden uh, to, to go in and make use of his uh, on-hit uh, threat, which is, you know, getting retired. But uh, as Rem takes the damage right now, he does get a huge trigger, so uh, take it with the Vanguard, and it passes over right now. So just want to make that interesting note from there. So of course, uh, there was also GG there, that he got the Soul Blast 2 to draw 1, so yeah. But now we see Ram riding up to the Great 2 Youth over here, making use of his ability. No, 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 that doesn't go to the right deck. No, 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 that goes to the top. <laughs> Gotta remember, kids, the cards, oh, cards, if they appear, if they would return to the deck right, they go into the right deck. So anywhere else, it's, it's fine. Even Bind is also for them. But anyways, he makes his ability and manages to call down Schneisel using Schneisel's ability. Thank goodness he has that one counter blast there. Uh, and then he's able to look at the top 5 cards, add a... Youth Buck to his hand and set, and shuffle the rest. So it's not center the bottom. Center the bottom is 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 uh, Youth Buck's own ability. So I've been playing a little bit more Youth Buck on on day days as of late. So so I'm a bit, I'm getting much more familiar with the plays that that Youth Buck does, so. especially uh, the timing of, of certain things and the conditions for certain things. So. But I just nice coming down. Unfortunately, no counter blast uh, for Rep to use. But that's okay. He does need to counter back against the. Uh, uh, the the rush that he that he just suffered from there, but right now, uh, Ram Vanguard attacking the upstream dragon, trying to get rid of it, uh, and Remu is actually guarding off the Diablo's boys. Also. So, uh, Rem is deciding where he wants to put his attack to. Also, and this time he definitely wants to put uh, pressure on the Vanguard right there. So, critical trigger to the damage zone doesn't do much for Remu, but it does uh, pass the turn over to him, and we go up into his first ride up into Chrono Jet Dragon. So here we go, Chrono Jet Dragon. Riding up, making use of uh, Smokey's ability to search for the Great Tree. Alrighty, so as he does his shuffle, um, yeah, yeah, uh, talking back to the the, the deck list. So uh, for Coral Jet side, so there's quite a few interesting uh, uh, cards in there. So which we'll get to towards the end. So so be sure to to stick around. Alright, Colin Bay Ross Swirler, so charge one, and then he gets plus 5k. So, uh, and then of course, discarding uh, Steam Breath Dragon to look for a Great Tree Chrono Jet uh, from the deck. So, basically, this is a ploy to, to deck thin, so uh, less so that he needs the write up, but more so that, uh, you know, it, it's to thin out the deck so, so that you can make sure that you get more triggers there. But as we move on towards the, the, the battle phase right now, so Eden is launching an attack with the boost over there. So that's 15k coming in. Uh, Ram, as I mentioned, does have to be careful because uh, Remu does have... Oh, that's going to be confusing. Uh, Remu does have a, a counter blast uh, to spare to be able to get rid of Rearguard. So Ram decides to take out that problem immediately by just intercepting with both of his Nizos. So draw trigger, uh, critical trigger. So Ram does take two damage since there was a no guard. So he, get, he himself gets a draw trigger. Plus 10k and then he draw one. Alright. Then he's got to have the... the Ah, there we go. Got to use the dice there. Second check. PG lost to the damage zone. And now it's Braveheart Swirler attacking. And so Braveheart Swirler with the double trigger over there. He's already going for 28, 13, uh, 33. 
So against 20, that's a 50k guard. So Baram decides to take it, go straight to 4 damage. He does get a draw trigger for for his... What would you call it? Uh, bravery? <laughs> About it? So yeah. This card is Wayward Therapy Angel right now. We're going straight into Youth Burger. So making use of the of the Grade 2 uh, Youth skill, which will allow him to actually fetch back a Grade 2 or higher. In this case, he's looking to fetch back maybe Schneizel. Uh, no, he actually fetches back a uh, uh, Decisive Axe Dragon or so, which is actually quite interesting uh, for him to actually put into the deck. But uh, before that, let's get uh, Wayward Therapy Angel out of the way. It calls itself out because it's been discarded during this turn. Uh, decisive Axe Dragon, so if Rem decides to call it down, uh, Decisive Axe Dragon would force uh, would force Remo to actually only guard off with uh, with uh, non normal units. Uh, so during the battle, so so long as you have ridden this turn, of course it is going on the second battle since so after the revolt just comes down. But yeah, you'll be able to to um, you'll be able to actually force your opponent to or rather pitch or hold him so into guarding with certain cards, so depleting especially trigger units. A much more definitive guard uh, with 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 those cards from there. So. Alright, so uh, Schneizel finding uh, Tempest from the, the top 5 cards, and the card is happening at the moment right now. So yeah, uh, looks like Rem might have a few things already set in place. He's got good cards to really set set the motion in place, also, especially since he does, he's able to Revolve Dress absolutely. Uh, he's able to um, uh, he's able to have a uh, certain guard restricts to a uh, certain way. The other thing now missing is kind of like power right now, also, which... Uh, which uh, Youth Bird can actually do, but uh, he does miss with um, with Youth Bird's ability, calling down Decisive Axe as I mentioned before, and now attacking with uh, Youth Bird for 30k. This is for two triggers. First check critical trigger. All right. Ram deciding where to put the the power and the crit. He does to put it on Decisive Axe Dragon. Pretty smart, just in case. Uh, there you go. Just in case that he didn't get the second uh, trigger, which he does. So, so yeah, all the the trigger effects to the side. Revolt just coming down. Uh, and Ram deciding not to go into Gust, but going into Tempest instead. So he does have the Color Blast to spare, so uh, Tempest's ability, all units in the front row gets plus 5k, and can Color Blast 1, reveal the top 2 cards, and then send one of your opponent's regards with the same grade as one of the review cards to the bottom of the deck. So in this case, he's got a grade 1 and a grade 0, so he decides to send uh, Brave Wall to the bottom of the deck. Not a big deal, in a way, for, for Ram mode because of Upstream Dragon being able to to just straight up actually call out the Brave uh to the back row also. And that could actually support uh, the, the, the the full guard restrict ability. So give you a lot of power, Brave Wasp going to that zone. To Chrono Jet Dragon also. Sorry I'm a bit split up from, from the commentary here also. But guards are going off these players, know what they're doing and they're playing super fast. But the over trigger actually is being used, revealed from the hand to guard off against Decisive X Dragon. So... Uh, that's one less worry off of Rem's mind right now, not having to worry about the over trigger. But now we go into the strike turn for for Remu, and Remu going into Fate Rider, discarding Balik so he actually gets the plus draw. Uh, but I believe he's choosing not to use Chrono Jet's ability to counter plus one and send the card to the bottom of the deck, so which he totally could have, but that might have been a a, a miss there. Can't really tell. Um. Uh, yeah, so uh, Brave Wasp coming in, so uh, Soul Charge 1, so plenty of Soul that, um, that Fate Rider could use so in order to get like GG out to so actually Soul Blast from there. Uh, rewinding the attack to make sure that everything is in place right now, but uh, yeah, Brave Wasp Weller plus 15, later Fate Rider will turn the G unit face up, so the crest will come into play, whereas all the units in the front row gets plus 5k for every face card in the G zone right now. So, little kick to the camera, but I think it's okay, yep, shot. I think shot got improved in a way, so <laughs> it was a little tilted, so... But in any case, uh, now attacking with Brain Wasp Swirler. And Brain Wasp Swirler going straight for the Vanguard for 13k. 5k intercept, very, very easy for, for, for Rem to do. And Remu now is actually making use of Fate Rider skill, flipping uh, Chrono Dragon next stage. Uh, plus 5k to the entire front row, thanks to the crest. And then uh, you make use of Fate Rider skill to send Brain Wasp Swirler to the bottom of the deck. And then searching for Grade 2. So for, for that unit's Grade plus 1, the card that was sent to the bottom of the deck. And of course, you will call Upstream Dragon. So Upstream Dragon. Uh, being able to actually uh, uh, time leap down, so to speak, uh, into a great one on the back row regard circle, and with all the with all the soul charging that Brave Wasp has done, uh, he could easily call GG. So plus two draw one, and then you know he gets plus five like because it was uh, because uh, there's a face up unit in the G zone, and uh, yeah, this is thirty three. Yes, thirty three coming in. So. So, uh, over trigger guard on Rem side, so both sides have no over triggers to worry about. 
Critical trigger though, so critical trigger uh, power will be power and critical will be given to Eden. Second check heal trigger. Remu cannot heal, but he does give plus 10k. Third check no uh, trigger there, so it's a triple drive on a on a, a G unit's uh, ability. Nevertheless, uh, it is Eden that's actually coming down right now, so plus 25k. No final rush in here, so he doesn't get the additional plus 5k over here, but. That's not the, the, the point here. In fact, this is actually kind of this is actually lethal, so it is a must guard regardless whether there's a one hit or not. Uh, and uh, yeah, upstream dragon now attacking. It is plus 5k, so let's not forget the 5k from the crest 2 as well. Uh, that upstream would be going for 20, if I'm counting that correctly. Uh, my head in the way, so apologies everybody for, for, for uh, immersing myself into your screens. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely checking the ruling for, for Upstream Dragon also. Upstream Dragon can only call a grade 1 uh, to the back row. So there is no way that he's able to... to uh, uh, there's no way that he's able to actually call it to the front row for a second attack also. So this would probably end his attacks. Because uh, there's no card in his deck that will allow him to be able to... Uh, you know, they'll be able to have a sec second attack also. Not currently anyway. So. But uh, calling GG out uh, through Upstream's ability. So the, as the cut happens, Remu will so blast 2 and draw 1 after that. It does get plus 5k, but that 5k is uh, rendered moot uh, because it is the end of the attack phase. The uh, Fate Rider goes back to the G zone. And next turn for Remu, it's going to be plus 10k to the entire front row. So Rem has to watch out. So Rem now going into his turn, getting the Persona right, drawing 1 and plus 10k to the entire front row. Love to see the, the power counters uh, in use and play. Just makes it easier for people like me to be able to count. For you guys also to, to keep track of the power if you guys can count it too as well. But both players are playing frenetically right now. Uh, you know that almost for me, it's a little bit hard for me to actually uh, keep pace off at times or so. So I do enjoy these small little breaks as players make the decisions to actually search for cards. Like Ram did uh, uh, finding uh, Tempest through discarding one card from his hand through Yufok's uh, ability. Coil down the Tempest to the side so as an attacker and Sequana coming down. So Sequana always ever proving that the Yufa deck uh that, that this is what makes the Yufa deck really really, really strong. Uh Wave Therapy Angel because of the discard, so uh it calls itself out after Soul Blast 1, plenty of soul to use there. Uh but right now it is the Yufuk. Yufuk now attacking with Sequana's boost. Sequana does get plus 2k, so this is a even. 33k attacking to the Vanguard right there. This is what I mean by the Yupa deck actually re needing power right over here. The Persona Right helps, Sequana helps, Critical Trigger also helps too as well. Uh, critical to the Vanguard, power to Decisive X Dragon, second check another Sequana. Uh, critical to uh, for Remu and no trigger on the other side, so it goes up to 5. It is 5 to 4 right now, favoring to, to, to Rem's side. Revolve Dress coming down, Gust coming in. This is the perfect time to actually really play Gust right now with the opponent's Vanguard being green 3. So uh, moving Sequana into Soul plus one, uh, resetting the drive to one for uh, for Gus and then Gus own ability, discarding one card plus ten k and plus one drive as well. So uh, twin drive is back on for for uh, for Gus right now, and uh, yeah, uh, the attack carries on. So uh, you know Tempest attacking, uh, easy intercept thanks to the defensive trigger that Remu has. PGing out for uh, for Gus, first check, Gus, second check, critical trigger, so critical and more power given to Decisive X Dragon, and remember Decisive X Dragon, because of the ability that popped off, he can only guard with trigger units, so uh, no PGs, it's just straight up 45k guard, so just to block off against everything. Nicely done, so. And now the strike happening onto Remu's turn, Remu's turn I should say, and uh, Remu riding into the Dragon next stage, calling out upstream dragon right now. So current dragon next stage, he's going for a, a he's going for the guard restrict. So possibly knowing that Rem might have a few PGs up his hand. So you guard restrict me with a decisive dragons. I'm gonna be Corrigent Dragon and I'm just gonna guard restrict all your PGs too as well. So yeah, Rem now just uh double checking the power from there. I believe the power for for Chrono Dragon next stage. Oh, nope, they might be checking the the ability for, for Chrono Jet as well. Or the, or the power, I should say. Counting out, uh, counting out the power. My mistake, my mistake. So yeah, they're counting out the power for Chrono Jet, but once again, uh, Rebu deciding not to use the counter blast to actually send a card to the, the bottom of the deck. So, might be a misplay, maybe a forget, forget from there, but Rem knows now he has the PG right here right now, so critical trigger. Uh, critical to the uh, uh, upstream and power to... Uh, 
uh, GG. Another uh, power straight to upstream dragon from the hill trigger from there. Discarding two, sending next stage back. Plus 50k to the entire front row thanks to next stage actually going back. And of course, uh, as the come out also. Uh, Chrono Jet Dragon will get plus 5k when it attacks and then it forces the opponent to guard restrict because that's his Generation Break 2 ability which is completely on for sure. But Upstream Dragon gonna do some havoc first or so. So with the double triggers from there, Upstream Dragon is going for uh, 35, 40, 35, 45, 50. 50 plus GG's uh, boost as well which if I remember correctly I think GG's uh, 5k? 8k? I believe it's 8k. So yeah, that's like 58 from there. So requiring... Uh, Rem to do a big old guard for for upstream but right now as we can see upstream dragon's ability is gonna pop off from there and what is uh Rem gonna call out also he actually calls out oh of all things as a power gem dragon actually <laughs> and calls it to the back row so power gem dragon does gain power and after that it will move it will have to move itself mandatory straight into the soul uh which is an interesting shout actually an interesting um card to actually be playing into this deck so uh, because it is a great one that you can call out. It does gain power and it does add to the soul. So that's actually an interesting choice of card to actually put into the Chrono Jet deck. So you see Falcon Performer, we've seen uh, you know the usual stuff from Chrono Jet, Ray and all that. But we've never seen but I've never seen uh, Power Gem Dragon actually. So this is actually, not Power Gem Dragon, my mistake. Uh, it is a it is the right line for for Dragneal and the name eludes me currently right now. But a drive check as you can see uh, has uh, you know has been guarded off by 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 Ram, so no damage went through. Uh, but it is four to four, and now uh, Ram with the Persona right, making use of Ubuck's ability. Looking at the top three cards, and can't fetch anything. Sends it to the bottom of the deck, and Wayward Therapy Angel was discarded. So once again, we get to see a Soul Blast one, and we call out the Wayward Therapy Angel two behind Tempest. Alright, so moving the other way with therapy up, seems that Rem might not have any more boosters. He's only got one card left in hand right now. So and you know as you can see it's a gust. There's no need to to uh to say much about it. Uh but yeah, Sequana actually being called to the side as well, so they can actually boost uh power to uh Wayward Therapy Angel. So even though Persona Right is there, you definitely wanna have a bit more power to actually force out more guards. So Sequana to the side makes sense. You've put can already attack this one for 23 right now, so uh yeah, this is all all good. It's all good. Rambo right now with only like 3 cards left in hand. Uh, no guard. First check, draw trigger. Power to the side and draw 1. Second check, heal trigger. So Ram will go into 3 damage. And more power is given to the Tempest on the side. But as we know, we're going to be seeing Gust coming down right there. Sequana skill one more time. Move it into the soul. And we... Oh, damage check first. Gotta, gotta remember that. Gotta have the damage check first. And then after that... Uh, Sequana moving into the soul, resetting the, the drive to 1 uh, for for Gus and then Gus's own ability, discarding 1, it gets plus 1 drive and plus 10k to as well. Alrighty, so and this is 33 coming in, so. Alright, so uh, guard for, for Rambo there, first check, no trigger, second check, no trigger, successfully got her off. Tempest now, uh, gonna be able to attack, but no, the PG is gonna deny that attack and the turn passes over too. Uh, it's gonna pass over to uh, Remu also, but Remu only finding GG calls it down. No, 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 no soul, no, no additional power. So, uh, plus 50k to the entire front row, no strike too as well. But there's still the, the guard restrict. Rem no guards because it has 3 damage, no triggers from there. So, he gets plus 10k and the defensive trigger from there. Power Jump Dragon is gonna be attacking right now. Uh, and uh, I do need to double check. Uh, sorry, not Power Jump Dragon. I know I keep saying Power Jump Dragon, but it's not Power Jump Dragon, so my mistake, everybody. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it does get plus 5k when it attacks, but it has to mandatorily be moved into the soul. And as they count out the, the power... Jewel Core Dragon, thank you very much. There you go, I found the name right there. So apologies everybody, it's Jewel Core Dragon that was... Uh, that, that's that cut the entire time. So, so my mistake, my mistake everybody. So yeah, Jewel Core Dragon uh, attacking. And it does gain plus uh, 5k, and after the end of the battle it moves into the soul. Uh, no, uh, yeah, so uh, then of course the GG attacking on the side too as well. Ram decides to attack because he does have the, the, the damage for it. It is 5 to 5. He's only got, what, 5 cards left in hand. Ooh, exciting guys, exciting. And he finds another decisive X Dragon also. That might actually be the decisive uh, turn right there. So, yep, gotta send uh, Jewel Core to the soul. So, yeah. 
That is mandatory. There is no Persona right down there, so uh, there's a little less power going off, but nevertheless, making use of a youth perk's ability. This is less so to actually find a card, but more to like kind of set the the bottom three cards out of the four. He does call uh it does call Sequana there, so you know, if he does manage to revolve dress, which I think he might have the ability to. So if anything is actually a, a booster. So youth perk now attacking. Alrighty, then guarding with uh with the great two whose name that I unfortunately still cannot pronounce right now, but so blast one it gets was tanky. Uh heal trigger. Ram gets to heal one, second check, critical trigger. He does know what's on top, he does pierce through, and the game is over, ladies and gentlemen. So wow, what a game for, for you guys. So I'm positively out of breath or so. But that's what happens when you play at a high level and that the gameplay is just phonetic enough or so that you know you're doing a lot of catching up so but i'm flashing up the the uh the deck profiles that you can see over here and as you can see uh as i mentioned with rem's deck with youth perk uh he does not have any of the cards from set nine so he doesn't have the the great one that restands he does not have the uh, goldarian i believe the name is so it's the great two that that allows him to be able to to gain um benefits so to speak from uh from so blasting the the revolve forms uh but yeah this is actually an interesting build also this is decisive x adding quite a bit to the deck build so something that i really haven't seen in a lot of youper decks also but now i flip over to the coral jack dragon deck and i can say that this is definitely the more interesting one because you can see that there's a mikani in there as mentioned the the mist uh, named Joe Core Dragon is also in there too as well. I apologize everybody. Uh, but the usual suspects are here. Uh, the usual suspects are here. Brave Wars Swirler, Upstream Dragon, Balif, and uh, Corona Jack is actually not in its full uh, quantity, so which is interesting. But then again, it does allow you to make room for, for additional things that could really help with the deck. So like say Eden for on-hit pressure with the retiring, uh, as well as uh, you know, make, make use of the counter blast. Just free up the counter blast a bit more so you can actually pay for your, your strides or so. But nevertheless, uh, that is pretty much it for for this uh, remote uh, remote fight. This the tournament fight. We got remote fight uh, videos coming up very very soon from our bi remote fight stream. So be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. So I'll see you then.